up guys, Blake from Mac Kite here and today I'm going to teach you how to perfect your water start. So this is a really fun and monumental step in your progression as a kiteboarder because up until now you've been learning about the wind, learning how it all works, how to set it up, and how to body drag and fly the kite. Now we're ready to get to the fun part where we actually use the board and apply the kite and the board together. So without further ado, let's get into how to water start. For the first step here, you're going to need to know how to fly your kite with one hand. So you're going to have your one hand on the bar, one hand on the board, put the board on your feet, and this is something that's very important for you before you get into trying to just go for it. Just make sure that you've done the prior prerequisite steps before this where you know how to fly the kite, you know how to body drag, you understand the concept of sheeting in and sheeting out and that'll make your life so much easier. With your one hand on the bar you want to keep your hand in the middle so that you have less steering of the kite. If you can't keep it still above you without looking then just try and keep it moving back and forth. So step number two is knees to your chest. The smaller you are, the easier it is going to be to start. So if you need to do some yoga before this, so that you can bring your knees closer to your chest, I'd recommend doing that or maybe doing a nice little stretch before you get out there. But if you can just really bring your knees to your chest like that, then you're going to be able to rock onto the board. One of the most common mistakes in water starts is people's legs are too straight and then you're just going to be kind of like a lever where your whole body goes up and then you either go face forward or you fall on your back and the board slides out on you. So step number three is to send the kite. So when you start off, you're going to want to send the kite light. Probably won't be enough power, but it's better to start light than too much. If you just go all out and send the kite, then it's either going to send you flying or just yank you out of the water and you're going too fast. So small steps here and just take it little by little bringing your kite from 12 o'clock down. And one common mistake too is if you start at 12 and you send it too slow, the kite's just gonna go to the edge of the wind window. So if you need a little bit more power and you feel that starting at 12 is just not enough to get you up, then what you do is you just simply put the kite at the other side of the window, either one or 11 o'clock, depending on how much. If it's really light wind, you can bring it to two or 10. And then that starts the kite at one side of the window so that when you send it down, it goes straight through the power zone, catches as much wind as you can, and pulls you into that start. You're gonna do a figure eight, starting from one side of the window to the other, going down, and you're gonna pull in on the bar as you send it down to catch as much wind and power as possible. And once that kite's down, you're gonna send it back up, and as it's going back up is when you're gonna sheet out. So think of this as pumping the kite. You're gonna pull in to send it down, steer it up, and then as the kite travels up, you wanna push out, because what pushing out on the bar does is it opens the canopy of the kite and allows it to rise and lift quicker than if you had it pulled in. So if you keep the bar pulled in as the kite's going up, then it's actually gonna be keeping it down slower. Whereas if you just simply sheet out on the bar as it's traveling up, it'll launch into the sky and shoot up there a lot quicker. If you find yourself holding in and pulling it on the bar, just try and loosen your grip on it, kind of fly it more with your fingertips. Step number four is to follow the pull of the kite. Another one of the most common mistakes as a beginner, and especially if you've tried this already, is you'll notice yourself trying to edge right away. And what that does is it kind of kills all of the power that you're using to send the kite and pull you up because you're edging against the kite rather than working with it. So you want your board to be flat because if it's on an edge, one, you're balancing all your weight on the edge of the board, and two, if you're not perfectly balanced, that edge is just gonna sink back into the water and you're gonna kill all the power. So as the kite sends and you feel it pulling you up, you're gonna roll onto the board and get the board flat and follow the kite. Step number five is to twist and lean back. So if you are standing like this, then the kite is pulling you downwind as your board's riding this way. So as you start, and once you're up on the board and you've done all the previous steps, 
Now you feel yourself starting to get it. You're excited. Woohoo! Riding the board. As you're riding, you're going to want to just twist and lean back. Because what this does is it, if you twist and lean back, it puts your weight over your back foot. If you're like this, then your shoulders are stacked over both of your knees, and then you're equally weighting the two knees. Once you're keeping up with the kite and you feel your speed's good and you've started to ride the board and you're getting the hang of it, this is where you're going to slowly start to sheet out, twist, open up, and lean your weight back over your back knee, kind of straighten your front leg. What opening up and sheeting out like that does is it also adjusts the angle of attack of your sail so that it'll allow you to ride more upwind. Take your time, don't rush it, and most importantly, just make sure you're having fun because if you're not having fun and you're getting frustrated and you're getting upset, which trust me, I know the feeling, you try and take deep breaths and just think about what you're doing. So every time you fall, just try and stop reset, take a few deep breaths, and think about what you're about to do. Even close your eyes and visualize the steps that we're talking about. And watch other videos as well because there's so many great ones out there. So that is how you perfect your water starts right there. I hope this video really helped you out and I look forward to hearing in the comments below how your progress is going and your progression throughout this whole series because the next one we're getting into transitions and all the fun stuff. So excited for you as a new kiteboarder getting into it hope to ride with you someday and stay tuned for more on our channel and we hope to see you on the water thanks again goodbye